Verona makes something special. Donald Ross, beautiful spectator course. The vistas are fabulous. It's wonderful. It's nice to be a member here. Well, we've got an event that uh, is bursting at the seams. We're uh, hugely successful, and there are many reasons for that. It used to be cancer was a death sentence. Now it's not so. Uh, it used to be six months, really has turned into a lifetime. Uh, the researchers at Penn are doing a fabulous job, and um, we have a good time raising money. Research requires plenty of uh, dollars, so we do get fundings from uh, NIH and their government support is there, but it is not enough. So we need private foundations and private fundings to, you know, create some kind of a seed money to, you know, explore our ideas. Jay Siegel uh, represents someone who understands the value of research in medicine. He gets it. What Jay symbolizes in this tournament, and it's been around about 26 years. Uh, it's raised over $4 million uh, for cancer research uh, for more than 20 years for uh, the Abramson Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, this provides discretionary money for our director of our cancer center to fund immediately, without a bureaucratic process, promising research leads in breast cancer and prostate cancer so if an investigator gets an idea, brings it to us, we can fund it and get it going. I am on the Abramson Cancer Center Leadership Council. So uh, we're intimately involved, uh, my organization, with the patients. And um, we see the mass majority, of the, the massive numbers that are coming in from all over, all parts of the country, all walks of life, and coming in to Penn. And it's that, you know, that extra mile and just the latest and the greatest and um, the opportunity for hope. We've come from a very humbling start. It was maybe $17,000 and we split it between the First Tee and American Cancer Society. And look at us now. We're four million and growing. It's very, very rewarding and great to be part of it. Jay's a very caring uh, individual, no question about that. And um, to see the success that he's had at this event, uh, what, 26 years and running, uh, just tremendous, great cause. Um, and it, it was really fun to be around today and see how many people have been here multiple times. And any time uh, I go to any kind of charity event and I see where there's repeat uh, uh, performers, uh, when they come back year after year after year, obviously something is being done right and it's usually for a good cause. And after having been a part of it this year, uh, I can certainly see that. Well, it's, a, it's fantastic to be a part of the event for the sake of coming to a facility like Aronimink and playing a golf course like this. You know, it's a course that you generally don't have access to and uh, here by supporting the Abramson Cancer Foundation you're able to play a course like Aronimink and also uh, you know, support a good cause and, and be able to experience a course that otherwise you, you may not be able to play. Oh, I would say it's a fantastic venue. Um, it's uh, world class as far as what they put on, as far as a venue, as far as the accommodations. You can't beat Aronimink, it's a great course and uh, it's always a great day. We'll be back next year. I tell you, the thing that really strikes me is just how friendly and personable and down to earth they are, especially um, Jay, who I've gotten to know now over, over a decade, um, goes out of his way to help everyone he can. And, and as you said, the connections, no matter, you know, you know, no matter who he runs into, if there's, if there's an opportunity to help somebody, um, to get them connected with someone else or to do something himself, Jay's the first person to do that. First of all, I guarantee you'll have a great time. Uh, a lot of really good people, uh, wonderful golf course. Uh, the chance to uh, get to play Aronimic, uh, really very special. And um, for a great cause. So you combine all three, great people, great golf course, great cause. Um, you'll have a wonderful day. Research is like golf. You have to work at it. You have to work at it. 
And we at the Abramson Cancer Center really spend all of our time trying to find new research that will benefit cancer patients. In the last year alone, we're the only cancer center in the country that has had four drugs from our laboratories approved by the Food and Drug Administration. So this tournament reaffirms my faith in combining a wonderful event for everybody who participates with the best goals of philanthropy.